morning. Hey, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. 726 right here in Harrison, Arkansas. We want to uh, welcome all the new viewers to our um, little little show that we do once a week. It's a little talk show. It's a really good show, though, we isn't it? We do a little it? talk show here, yes, and welcome uh, this week to the show. Glad you're here. Thank you. You as Are well. Are you hot? No, gonna, but you know, I had like cold, this rather. look. I saw it. Too much. Uh, well, you know, showing too much skin. Too much vibration. Might, going I was on, afraid you, you know, would be distracted. Jump out of my chair. <laughs> like Might scared. Do I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Summer's here, and it is. Uh, have Definitely. you got have you got your kids all lined out of their chore duties and that kind of thing? Are they in camp? I've got it lined out. I'm having difficulty making sure it gets done. Mm -hmm. Some. And we have a new addition to the family. Our, <clears throat> one of our dogs. <clears throat> Pardon me. One of our dogs died a couple weeks ago, and my son has been wanting a puppy for a long time. And I said, mm -hmm. well, you know, when we lose a pet, then we'll look into it. Well, it didn't take any time. Now we've got this pup. And I told him, this is your deal. I don't want to get up in the middle of the night and go let that thing out. I don't want to have to clean up when it has this little accident. Uh -huh. I don't want any part of it. So he's, we're going through he's, that. Is he doing a good job? Yeah, I mean, you know, if I see something, then he... He has to clean it up. Okay. He's doing okay. Yeah. You know, he's, kind of he's getting up have. at 630 in the morning. It's a Jack Russell Terrier and something. Uh, and something. And something. It's that something that you it's worry that, about. Exactly, because it's going to be a little bigger than a Jack Russell. It's and got my that little, wiry hair. No, it's real short. Oh, I mean, oh, Jack okay. Russells yeah, don't yeah, have right. yeah, I'm wiry sorry. hair. Some, another animal I'm thinking but about. But my little yeah. Maltese, that's my dog, is not digging it. Not digging that Dexter oh, is in yeah. the house. So it's Dexter, huh? Dexter. Started Which, to be Wiz, now it's Dexter. Wiz. Yeah, that's what I where'd thought the, he should where'd be. Where did uh, the name Dexter come from? Uh, William pulled oh. it out of his hat. You know, there, there's a show on cable called Dexter. Mm -hmm. I think it's HBO. I love that show. We just call him stupid sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that was just in fun. Mm -hmm. I would not want to hurt William's feelings. You know, this, this, uh, we uh, record this show on a Wednesday, and uh, I'd be a, a, a remiss in telling people that if you see this show before Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you need to go and uh, get a ticket and go see the play that's going to be happening. This no, that's just not me. There's, there's a, there's I know, a, but a this cast space. Of, there's a cast of 13 people. That it, if they come to see me, they won't recognize me, so it's not, not, a, not the point that they need to come see me in the play, but it's a very good play. Hysterical, from what I understand. It's a large cast, and it is. Uh, there's uh, funny lines in just about every, just about every moment of the play. There's funny, funny, funny stuff going on all the, all the time. What are the dates for this play, Dan? It's this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the June the 10th, 11th, and 12th. At times. Uh, at uh, 7:30, Friday 7:30, Saturday, and then 2 o'clock um, on Sunday is a matinee. Ticket prices are the usual ticket prices mm -hmm. for the OAC events mm -hmm. so it's affordable and if you are a member then you get a slight discount so yeah and if that's you, always a good thing if you do have uh if you have the right membership and you had some vouchers for tickets these tickets mm -hmm. are are good for that and speaking of vouchers are you still yes, giving popcorn I still vouchers have, I still have some uh, popcorn vouchers if you'd like to uh, see this uh, play it you is called call Southern Hospitality yes uh, you can call the office here at 741-4891 and we'll be glad to put your name on a ticket and if you can, if you can't come to the office, we'll have them at the box office. So okay. I don't. I, I'll be gone this weekend to Kansas City, but I'm coming Thursday because okay. I would not miss it for the world. Well, it's your acting debut here in Harrison. Well, it is my first time uh, doing this sort of thing. Now, I've been on stage before, but it's not not like this. But not like this. It it is a um, it <laughs> it's an experience. I'm telling you. But it's really nice to work with uh, seasoned actors. It's, mm -hmm. uh, you, you can tell that they've been doing it for quite a while. And, and uh, uh, whereas an actor like me, if, if there's a bump in the road, I just, I just start you know, rolling and balling mm -hmm. up and whatever and, and just freezing. They just roll right on. And it's, it's really nice to, to have their Gotta support go with there. The flow, yeah, don't it's you? really nice. So we, we encourage everybody to come out this Friday, Saturday, We'd and like Sunday. We like to promote the arts on here. And, yeah. and this is one of the upcoming mm -hmm. events that. Uh, we think you should It'll be, fun. be sure and catch. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, no. I don't know. Going to the big KC. Never been there before. Kansas City. Uh huh. You know, my wife and I are planning a trip to Kansas City. Oh yeah. We're going to fly up there on Seaport Airlines. Oh uh huh. And then we're going to get on a an Amtrak train and go all the way down to New Orleans. Awesome. And stay for three, now four see, days. I didn't think it went. Okay, go ahead. I think it goes all the way down. A to train the, will go. Mm -hmm. 
because I thought it went like east to west. I didn't realize you could go south. Yes, it, it, I think it goes back down. I think okay. we plotted that trip out, yeah. So we're going to stay there in a few days and, and then... What re, fun! Re, re, when around. are you going to do that, this summer? Uh, probably later in the summer, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well, I'm driving to You ever been on an Amtrak train? No, I've not. It's it might, awesome. We talked about doing that. It's, and it's, a, it's a weird experience. It's, it takes you back to, oh, I guess, the Orient Express days or something. Because you're I, on a train and you hear the thing, you know, click, 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 click. Yeah. yeah. They've got an observation deck. And, and of course, the best way to travel, if you're going to be traveling a couple of days, is to get a, 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 berth? a bedroom. Isn't that what it's called? A what? A sleeping berth? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what it's called. I don't know. A sleeper car. You get a sleeper car. That's okay. what they're called. Okay. And you've got a porter that comes in, to, drops your bed down, and and uh, you've got an observation deck. And then cool. there's, there's a place to eat, you know, all your meals there. It's really nice. How nice, Dan. Cool. That's really cool. You'll yeah, have to come a, back and tell us all about that. I will. I'll take a video camera and we'll, we'll shoot unknown people and embarrass Random. them like we usually do. <clears throat> okay. 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 <laughs> well, we have a good show today. We do. <clears throat> Pardon me, I had to clear my throat. I, we have Mike McClintock. He uh -huh. is no stranger to this show, and we're glad to have him back. He's with the Boone County Extension Service. We also have Emily McCormick. She's going to hear. Pleh, 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 pleh. <laughs> She's going to talk about the Tarpentine Creek powwow that's coming up. Is real that soon. in Eureka Springs? Over in that area? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you ever been there? I don't think I've been to the Turpentine Creek. No, I don't it's, think so. You is should it, go. Is it west of. Eureka Springs? Seven, Spring? miles, south. Seven, Seven miles, miles south of Eureka Springs. Well, I've okay. taken my kids there. Yeah. It's, it's quite an interesting place to go. You should, you should go there sometime. Okay. Uh, we have an interview with Chad Harbison, the new HHS football coach that we will be showing. And mm -hmm. also we will round out the show with Wade Phillips. He is the Harrison Public Works Director, and he's going to talk about FEMA. FEMA. FEMA and okay. what, you know, what, what our area has suffered here, so okay. and how FEMA can help. All right. So we will go to break, and when we come back, we'll be visiting with Mike McClintock. Stay with us. <laughs> 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 